How many times have you checked the internet this morning? How much of your day will be spent online? Some people wake up and the first thing they do, first thing they do is check Twitter. Yep. You, Facebook. You don't do that. No, that, uh, I wouldn't do those things. But that, but you know, we do a lot because immediately you start checking what's going on, the what's wires. happening. So when you start adding it up, it's quite scary, isn't and it? And according to research, one in every 12 minutes of our day is taken up online, which is around 43 hours a month. Does that sound excessive to you? We've been finding out your internet habits. I pop on my, mo my mobile on in the morning, so maybe kind of like for half an hour at a time, maybe something like that. Yeah. Daily basis, minutely basis. Um, Facebook, generally, sports channels, uh, emails. I don't really use it for entertainment, really. I don't really watch TV off it or anything like that. I've lost about it. <laughs> I'm allowed to be lost about it, definitely. I won't be lost about it because I'd, be, I'd probably start using like more more, mod, like more, more old fashioned sort of methods, like the writing or phone calls. Absolutely vital, vital. I twitch when I can't get it. Isn't it fascinating to hear all that? And this one, uh, people get in touch this morning. Simone got in touch on Facebook. There you go. Uh, she says she's been up 20 minutes. I've been online for 15 minutes. Says it all, really. Is it a good way to keep in touch with the world or ruining the art of conversation? Let's talk to Kate Bevan, a journalist who specialises in technology and social media, and William Hansen, an etiquette consultant, and presumably William. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. You think it is simply rude to be <laughs> online so often? Yes, especially because people do it in the company of other people. Yes. Because it is so accessible, I can see it's perhaps an easy trap to fall into, but it doesn't really excuse the fact that we are taking out our devices, our tablets, our phones, whatever they happen to be, and logging on and tweeting and using Facebook when we're having a face-to-face -face conversation. That is plain manners. What plain you're doing bad manners. is bringing in other people into the conversation. That's kind of the point of it. Yes, I appreciate that you might be tweeting with thousands of people on, on Twitter and communicating with them, but actually they are not as important as the person you're talking to face to face. No one is ever going to be more important than the people you're communicating we've, with. We've developed kind of a modern etiquette that actually allows for that. I think it's fine. If everybody agrees that actually we should have a quick look at our phones to make sure that the world is carrying on without it's us. It's, it's yeah. interesting. Uh, inevitably, I suppose, the comments that we've got this morning, mm. not surprisingly, because people are obviously online mm. in it's order to be able to message us, are all extolling the virtues, if you mm. like. Even though they're admitting they're spending a lot of time online, they're saying it's necessary, necessary for work, possibly for social, social reasons, that this is a way, it's become a way of communicating. Nothing wrong with that. You just have to think about it in a slightly different way. Do you accept, it, accept that at all? I think it's great, actually. We're communicating more with more people. What's wrong with that? I think it's wonderful. Well, because, actually, if you're in a conversation with another person and you have your smartphone mm. and you're tweeting at the same time, it's mm. only you who is communicating with all no, of those other people. No, that's fair enough. It's not the other person as well, and you're excluding them. I think that's... Isn't that part of the problem? Yes, I am guilty of it as much well, as I We all are. But at the same time, I think if you're sitting there with maybe a couple of other people and you all take a moment to look, then you're all doing it at the same time. It's almost like we've evolved a new etiquette to do it. And no, I, I, yeah, people do do it a lot, but it's never going to make it acceptable <laughs> because, we, we are, because we are doing it so often, or people are doing it so often, and yes, they are vital parts of our lives and modern tools mm. of communication. We are forgetting actual social skills, and so many people, old or young, actually don't know how to hold a face-to-face -face conversation. When you have a party, mm. do, you, do you say, phone's left at the door? Yes, basket. Or in a restaurant, I've, I've been to places where um, someone very enterprising, other dinner guests, said, right, phone's in the middle of the table, first person's, who's ri who, who, first person's phone who's, who rings, mm. and you pick it up, has to pay the bill. Oh, but nobody's phone rings anymore, people. we all do it by... Uh... Well, or who <laughs> feels the need to grab their phone <laughs> and look at it, has to pay the bill, and that's, that's a very good... Uh, method, I suppose one of, the, one of the issues is that it be, now that it's so easy to communicate mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. way and people are saying this morning they're getting up and literally the very first thing they mm -hmm. do in the morning, mm -hmm. go check their messages. Mm -hmm. Because that's so easy, is there a danger you think that that's where you gravitate towards? So instead of, mm -hmm. I don't know, making a plan to meet someone, but you, can you, make you, it, you, just, you, you just don't do that because you don't need to. You, you're making a plan to meet somebody via those messages. You know, it might be the first thing you're doing in the morning is who am I going to have a meeting with um, at 10 o'clock? Mm. Checking that to see if that's still on. Really? Do you think so? Or do you think people are just kind of spending time? I but think it's uh, probably it's, it's slightly pe idealistic. people are insecure. You see often people waiting at train stations or, or whatever and they're just standing on their own. 
and they feel that they have to take out the mobile phone to, to show, well, it's all right, I may be standing here on my own, but actually lots of people want me because I'm communicating with them here, I'm mm. special. Oh, but I saw somebody describe that as um, the digital equivalent of twiddling your thumbs, which I think is fine, actually. Mm. Yes, but actually, <laughs> when you're there standing twiddling our thumbs, not on a device, actually we can begin just to think about, you know, OK, what am I going to do? Uh, this is what's going to happen. We're not distracted by constant things coming in on Kate, Twitter, Facebook, Do whatever. you think that it, there's just an inevitability about this? We are now connected. Mm. to potentially thousands mm. of people at any one time and we, we do have to deal with that in some way without offending the people we're actually with. I think, as I said earlier, there's a whole new etiquette about how we deal with things. And actually, I think William's been rather prescriptive about what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. I, you know, I, I think I'm older than you are, and I think it's fine. I'm not somebody who's going, oh, young people of today, they don't know how to communicate. I think when you're communicating, when you're looking at your phone, it looks like you're really out of the world but actually you might be communicating with five people half a mm. dozen people 20 people and you're doing it in a very skillful way it's multitasking you're doing it in you you're know, forgetting the chances one are you're probably just playing a game though well, I mean, yeah, if you look up down a train carriage and anything oh look at all these wonderful people online <laughs> connecting with all over the world with their friends in uh, Papua New Guinea mm. and, and what they're doing is playing just... playing <laughs> isn't it really but why is playing a game any worse than I'm not, reading I'm a not book? damning it I'm just saying it's slightly unrealistic to think it's all it's all communication going on all the time but you see people in coffee shops have clearly met up for a date or their friends or whatever <laughs> and they just sit there on their phones and you think well why bother to, to waste petrol or energy to walk to this coffee shop to sit there on your phones isn't that a bit sad yeah. nonetheless we do thank everyone <laughs> for getting online this morning and sending us all the comments because we have had a lot of comments this morning so that's good that bit's good and we could have talked about it for much longer which shows that it is not killing the art of conversation no. it is stimulating it exactly so thank you both. thank you, thank you.